risk of sudden cardiac death seems to disappear immediately. The National Sanitary Institute in France announced a significant decrease in heart attack rates following the country's smoking ban, with benefits also noted for decrease in secondhand smoke inhalation effects. New York, USA experienced an 8% decline in hospital admissions for acute myocardial infarction after a comprehensive smoking ban, which translates into health care savings of 56 million U.S. dollars in one year. Smoking bans mean better health. Data from the National Population Health Survey shows those who smoke have higher rates of chronic conditions such as bronchitis, asthma, and high blood pressure. Smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke develop colon cancer about seven years earlier than non-smokers. Smoking bans mean healthier children. Research from Michigan State University in the USA and the David Hyde Asthma and Allergy Research Center in the UK show that the smoking habits of mothers during pregnancy increase asthma risks in some children. Children regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have more than triple the risk of lung cancer as well as higher risks of other respiratory problems later in life. Smoking bans are good for business. In his annual report, UK Chief Medical Officer Liam Donaldson said a public smoking ban would save an estimated 2.7 billion pounds. 680 million pounds saved by having a healthier and more efficient workforce. 140 million pounds saved through fewer sick days. 430 million pounds saved from productivity loss from smoking on the job. 100 million pounds saved from cleanup costs related to cigarette smoking, plus more. But if meat eating not be banned and not be limited, then the whole planet will be gone. This is a life and death matter for everybody. It's not a personal choice. And we are eating meat, uh, eating up the whole planet eating up 90% of the food supply and let other people hungry. It's not necessary choice at all. Even if before the planetary uh, urgency, meat-eating people eat up the whole planet, eat up so much food and result in hunger and war. It has never been a right choice in the first place. Thank you, Master. Thank you.
have to speak the truth, even if some people don't like to hear it. I have to tell them, and like it or not, that is their choice. But I have to tell you what I know and what is good for them, hmm? like a good friend would do. A good friend don't always tell you the sweet talk or the lovely things or any flattery stuff that you like to hear, but the good friend will always tell you what is the best for you. And then you can decide you like it or not like it, you follow it or not follow it. But a good friend will always tell the truth to you, and that's what a good friend is for. And I am a good friend of everybody. Hello, Master. Hello. It seems this situation was already announced in many scriptures, such as the Gospel of Peace from Essenes, the Holy Quran, the Bible, and many others mentioned this critical period. In similar cases in our in universe, what determined the ones that were successful? In uh, any planet at all, if people are well informed on time, they can always take measures against similar calamity by heeding wise counsel and react according to correct advices. All the inhabitants of those planets can still reverse the situation and bring back to life the favorable result that they wish to achieve. Things can always change overnight if people